Welcome back, everyone. Change finally here. We waited a long time yesterday for this cold front to pass us by. It finally has, and in its way, cooler, drier air. That means less humidity, and yes, the numbers are lower. Let's take a look at Futurecast because no rain is in our weather picture today. This is basically cloud cover. We'll have a nice sunny mix, some high clouds, but other than that, we look really nice. You can tell where that cold front is uh, in our Futurecast, and that is to the south of us, and it's going to continue to move on south throughout the day today. So all in all, we look really nice. Here's the story in the dew points. Dew points much lower, 46 in Tallahassee, 51 in Gainesville, 58 for Sarasota. So you can see where that dividing line is, where the uh, cold front is right now. As it passes, these numbers will drop as well. So the lower the dew point, which measures surface moisture, the lower the humidity, the better we feel. So all in all, you can see we look really good. The only problem is, as these continue to remain low, by tomorrow through the next day, we may have some fire danger that we need to worry about. But so far, we're looking really nice. As for our look at the numbers today, again, they're lower. 83 in Sarasota, Venice, and Englewood, Longboat Key, Boca Grande. 85 for Northport this afternoon, and Lakewood Ranch. These are our highs for the day, and 86 in Portrella and Punta Gorda. True View painting in a nice sunny mix and a nice clear night ahead. Taking a look at the highs across the state, 80 in Pensacola, 81 in Tallahassee, Gainesville, 84 in Tampa this afternoon, 86 in Fort Myers, 89 in Miami, and 87 Key West. Yes, the numbers to the south are higher because the cold front is working its way through there throughout the afternoon hours. Now, boaters, winds out of the north, 10 to 15 knots. Seas will be 2 to 3 feet. There's a light shop and your water temperature. If you're heading to the beach today, is 87 degrees and UVA is going to be at 10. Wind shear continues to work in our favor, really not allowing anything to develop in the tropics. So all in all, good news out of the Atlantic today. Major changes in store for the Rockies. We could see Temperatures fall 25 degrees below normal right now as a strong, windy cold front passes by through there in the Midwest. The eastern sections are cool while the plains heat up, and the south, much of the south, feeling like fall today thanks to that cold front. And then in the northeast, chilly and some scattered showers. Let's take a look at the numbers. We're looking at 67 in Boston this afternoon, 69 in Washington, 73 in Atlanta, 88 in Dallas, 91 in Phoenix. So Phoenix finally breaking the 100-degree mark, 70 in San Francisco, and 57 in Billings today. Taking a look at our pollen mold counts, we're low for tree pollen, moderate for grass, moderate for weeds, and today moderate for mold. So finally getting under that very high mark. Today we're, nice, we're seeing a nice sunny mix. We are much cooler, less humidity. Our high only 83 degrees this afternoon, so feels nice. You might want to get out and enjoy it while it lasts because it won't last too long. We're clear tonight, cooler as well. Sunset 717, excuse me, our overnight low, a very nice 65. Degrees. Let's take a look at the next six days, and it will really tell the story because tomorrow temperatures really looking good still. We're at 84 Pleasant, 86 on Friday. Now Saturday, moisture builds back in because the cold front that passed us is going to start lifting up back uh, up the peninsula, and that will increase our rain chance and our humidity and our moisture. <laughs> so by Sunday, we're looking good again, and on into the next week, good as well. So all in all, the next six days look really nice. That's a look at your forecast. Thanks for logging on to HeraldTribune.com.